Good morning, Team Beast, and for those of you joining us for the very first time, thank you for clicking on Beast Capacity Outdoors. I'm really your Team Beast, Daddy Beast. This is finding lost footage. Like I said, lost footage. Or not so much lost footage, but forgotten footage. Or footage that was just put to the wayside. This is a little different. But what you're going to be seeing is footage I forgot to do from our 2017. Evidently there was a fifth a fifth part that needed to be done. So I'm going to be doing that here in this video. Um, just a little thing about it. Um, friends of ours, Mark and Christy, they took us up to this place, showed us this beautiful place. And um, this is perfect timing for this video, this video footage to show up. Um, and I'm going to open this video in the normal way I would normally, to a degree, which you're going to see next is Christy, Mark, and their son up at Mile High, where we stopped to get this grand view of Mammoth Hills Reservoir. And one of the most beautiful things Christy says, then you'll see it next. So, it's, it's, it was perfect. Changing my openings this, this year at some point to make a new opening. In memorial, and I say memorial because Christy um, passed away in 2019, and we could never get back up there after the 2017 trip because you know the issues that she had developed. So this is not a perfect time. Not only is it the fifth and final episode part of our 2017 Mammoth Bulls Reservoir trip. I hope you guys enjoy this. A little bit of throwback. <laughs> yeah. So, let's get to it. And I'm telling Christy, do you see that? This is where what? we're camping. When he's like, I thought it was a moose and I well, of explaining key nasty um not too chunky not too soft no perfect <laughs> health health people health and safety health and wellness <laughs> how when you're up close to that spillway how violent that water really is i know it looks so calm and serene from here i know and then i bet the roar you know the the salt <laughs> falling in the movie to make a waterfall. <laughs> no. So that bridge on that spillway was one I was telling you where the guy just jokingly threw his line over that one time and it was flowing just like that and he pulled one out of there. Wow. Like a, and it was a good size too. It was like a 12 or 14 inch trout. Well, I'd imagine. And he, you know, no net from there. It had to be hooked well enough to get all the way up on that stupid bridge. I'll take it back well, into the lake. Well, maybe it didn't actually find. Maybe it actually hit the hook. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> ah, damn, this is beautiful. This part. These capacity outdoors. Ow. And I had a very... <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm recording. I just said good morning, YouTubers. So yes, I am recording. <laughs> my view. That's my view right now. Looking up. Reclining in the chair. Wait, wait, wait. You make it closer. There, my view. Head back. That's what I'm seeing. And oh, that's her view. Her neck doesn't want to go backwards. So she's seen a tree. Oh, in the river. And there's the road we came in on. 
And there's my view again. Yeah. <laughs> view. My view. Your view. <laughs> Our last day. Sunday. Sunday fun day. Well, all days were fun days. And, and yes, I'm a little... <laughs> again, I'm not wasted, tired worn out from doing a lot of stuff. Uh, woke up at 6.30 this morning and it looked like this. <laughs> nice and bright out. Yes, I was already awake. I had to go pee. So, I was already awake. Went and recovered the, the crawfish trap from the creek. Still as ice cold as it was when it was in there yesterday. Caught one. Two hours down there, caught two. Overnight, caught one. We have, we have our suspicions as to why and what for and how come. We'll probably just relax at the creek again today. We're gonna pack up all the stuff that we're not gonna wear in our suitcases. Pack up all the gear we're not gonna be using tonight or today. And then uh, that way in the morning we can Ricky take this stuff out of here and get uh, on the road so we can, we're not in Fresno too late so we can go see my buddy and a whole bunch of us in the river you know, playing playing our own like river rapids thing where she squeals a lot. Not much talking because I'm relaxed. This is our this was our home. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna be doing this again next year. Definitely gonna be coming back. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Um, I'm sure my vlogs will get a lot better by then. Maybe a little more content. I, I can feel I can feel that I've lost weight. I've been good. Stayed away from all the s'mores that she wanted to eat. <laughs> hey, see my pink camouflage cup over there. We just we, we just shared a Weight Watchers breakfast milkshake. We learned one great thing: don't store. Do not store your Sabatino truffle zest inside your shaker container because it smells like garlic well powerful cheesy garlic like power bait it's nasty smelling <laughs> but it tastes good but yeah so she let me take the first drink you know great sacrificing on her part <laughs> let me take the first drink of a possible garlic chocolate milkshake and like normal it tastes like a nasty but yummy diet shake though but it's only two points like I said I've been good we shared a rooter float we shared a cheeseburger up the the, the main shop main uh, mercantile country store uh, She's had lots of s'mores this weekend. Last night we had chili. I've had celery and peanut butter with little chunks of chocolate on it. It was excellent. It was after a nice long day playing around in the river. We had lunch on the river. Uh, got a little burnt. I got angel wings on my back. It was where the area I didn't catch with the spray always have a partner put on your sunscreen on your back and shoulders but kind of don't want to leave the place but I kind of do I want to leave but don't want to leave I wanna, wish I had a boat glad I didn't bring one because that road up here is heavy as hell this place is pretty nice I mean 
here comes the water truck to go water the new uh, the new planting that they've done to help restore the forest that got demolished and everything. Oh no no, the the, the tent the tent warming gas did not affect anybody's sleep. Although this morning it got kind of musical this morning between me and her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was yes. I mean, cheddar cheese and uh, <laughs> and chili. Beautiful instrument in the making. What? You had pine gas too this morning. Don't even, don't even like try to deny it. You just didn't giggle like I did. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> yes, camp humor. We have beer frogs, crawfish bubbles, donuts, <laughs> and pine gas <laughs> up here is because of pine gas. And then, you know, somebody toots, and then there's pine gas, and you know, you know it's a thing. Oh, somebody burps, beer frog. You know, somebody farts in the water. You know, <laughs> crawfish bubbles. Because hmm. when crawfish are. Uh... Like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, wait, say that again. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> there you go. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, let's see. We like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, no. Subscribe, I think. <laughs> you can figure it out. Stay beastly. Hello. Ah, we're tired. We're beat. It's been a lazy, lazy day. We've done nothing but sit in the camp on Sunday. Uh, a lot of stuff we're planning on for next year already. So, hang out with us through the year. We'll be back to this place. Yeah, and been a long week. Fun, and that we're, we're, we're wasted in it with fun. And we're not wasted because it's just all oh, it's been it's been a wreck. Um, all right, we're down here at the boat launch parking. That's where everybody parks. Oh, we'll see in a second here. Well, yeah, sit here for a moment. area. As you can tell, there's plenty of room down here to bring your boat and your trailer and, and not have to drive it all the way back to camp, drop your trailer and then come all the way back down to bring your people to go boating. Um, it's just, uh, you know, come on, like somebody even dropped their, their trailer and their boat here when they're not using it in the water. Um, and then, as we saw from the other side, when we were going over to the dam yesterday, um, people would come down, park their car, and kind of get out and go on their boat. And, you know, some of them would just park it up here and go down. They really don't want ship parking down there, but people do, I guess. So, but we'll head down in a moment. And I wouldn't be surprised if some people, you know, like that one right back there, looked like it was a trailer or mobile. Yeah. It, if anything, if there's too many people parked there, we can turn around and come back up. Okay. You were making it sound like the other day, like you didn't think there was anyone Well, see, I didn't know. And then once I saw it from the other side, how close we were. That looks like a little tiny, tiny one. Hey, you can see people are parking everywhere. I just literally wanted to say, yep, we made it to the water. Granted, this, you know, doing this down here is mainly for those who have boats, you know, kind of thing. But as you can see, a ton of people park down here. Even though they asked that you do not, but Ow. Yeah, 
Yes, you no parking any time. Okay. Yeah, we'll just turn around and go back up. Yep. Yeah, people bring sea dudes out here. Now see, back when the water was low, a lot of people came down here because from what I heard a couple years back, a few years back, the water was down a good, you know, 300 yards shoreline worth. So you could walk, walk the shoreline, you know, camp out for the day and fish from the shore all over the place out here. But now that it's back up to level and full, which is awesome. Uh, now it's mainly like uh, boat access. But, uh, out there around the, you know, there's beaches around the lake or the reservoir where you can, you know, pull your your tritune or your pontoon and your, you know, you know little little pleasure craft up to the beach and, and get out and you know hang out. But Alice is gonna jump out here and take some photos. And all that for her photography portfolio. And I'm just going to sit here in the air while the phone charges and stuff like that. Ah. Leave it running. <laughs> well, let's see. Cruised out Wednesday. Got here Thursday. Had some fun. Got in the water Thursday. Got in the water Friday, Saturday. Now, cruised around, checked some things out. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a lot of hiking. We are uh, we were pretty high up, and the altitude got to me. The altitude got to me. It has worked my lungs. You know, yeah, I know, I'm in the car, sitting in the air conditioning. But, I mean, look at this. Oh, there's a boat, yeah, no, there's some boat trailers, I know. Allison's down getting her pictures. But, I have fun. Find a good support. I've got great support. Now, we haven't decided yet where we're going to go for the next camp out. But it's going to be local to our house. We're not going to go no six hours, seven hours away from it. This was this was that yearly kind of thing that you do. You take vacation with friends, family, and have a great time. So, we might do maybe something in Santa Barbara. Uh, maybe do a beach run. Maybe a privately owned paid camp. Who knows? But we'll figure it out. I don't know how much I've lost while up here, if any. You know, I come up with my next weekly challenge. Uh, like this one is, you know, if you haven't done it already, depending on when I've, I put this video out, your 10 minute walk, 5 minutes out, 5 minutes back. I've done that several times this weekend. Might not have gone on hikes, but it's taking me 10 minutes to go to the bathroom because it's like 100 yards away. Yeah, it's 100 yards away from the camp, so take me five minutes to get out there, five minutes to get back. You might be laughing right now. It ain't funny. That's a serious thing, man, when you had to go priv. So, I, I did my five out, five back several times this weekend. You could at least do it once. If you did it, let me know in the comments. Just say, hey, I did it. I did mine. I did mine. Where'd you go? Down the street, down the block, personal park private park around the corner did you go to a campsite and do it did you go camping this weekend or something like that so let me know in the meantime keep filling that little thing inside get that capacity filled up and become that beast to do what you need to do to get to a better you or feed that capacity fill it up and get that job done go get that job go get that interview uh, do that project out in that backyard. It doesn't just have to be for help. It be it for everything. But we'll catch you next time. Alright. 
I'm going to do some video here to show what it's like on the road to the boat dock. Well, from the boat dock to the camp. Oh, a little shaky there, sorry. Looks like people camp down here, too. Um, it's not bad out here. Uh, I believe the daily rate is like 20 bucks or whatever. Uh, and, I, and it's, you know, two cars max per site. You know, and then you pay, you know, per extra on the car. If, you know, if you have more than one. But, uh, it is a pretty drive. No matter what. Now, see, now, here's the gate. Yeah, this, this lake does close down like for half a year and that's to let you know well it snows up here it gets pretty icy pretty snowy snowed in and stuff like that so but they mainly close it so that way the migratory uh deer because we're right in the path of the deer migration uh during that time and during the winter shutdown is when they usually go across so they shut the gates so nobody can go to the uh, lake so that way we don't disturb that migratory pattern but then they open it back up about, <clears throat> well, Wagner's opens up in uh, May, uh, the last week of May, Labor Day, week, uh, Memorial Day weekend. And How much for the old one? <laughs> cheap. Oh, you're cheap, right on, just my type. <laughs> oh, you did? Right on. You went that way? Oh, okay, north. Right on. Cool, cool. Yeah, we need water. He might be cheap. But we're 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 in a nice air conditioned car. They chose to hike. They got into Wagner's now. This right over here is the group area. Don't know if you can see it, but it is constantly in shade. Except for that little patch over there in the evening. For a little bit. This place is mostly in shade the majority of the day. And it's called the Eagle Landing Reserve Group Camping Area. Camp Manny. Huh? Manny. Camp Manny. <laughs> and these are part of the numbered campsites. Uh-huh. Here's ours coming up. Oh look, it's the house for those who become shitty. And cows. And moo cows. They're jerseys. Hey look, we're in Jersey. Maybe we can get them. The easy pickings. And here's our camp. Some might in the shade, some might in the sun. Our tent, mostly in the shade. Our rowdy neighbors. Now we're going to tour your, uh, take a tour of our campsite. This is all ours where we're driving at and turning around. Tag Cowboys down by the water. 
I think it's time to go in the water now that there's shade down there. I won't get extra burnt. Is he the one that was drinking all the CLs yesterday? Must be the one drinking all the CLs. And for those of you who are not in the know, does not mean Corona Lights. It means Coors Light. They're drinking also BL. Not BM, but BLs. That's Bud Light. Okay, now you just saw that was a tour of our camp space, which is huge. Go to the there we go. Good. And that's the Merrick site, Tim Christian Marks. And that right up there is part of the site. And we all eat dinner up there. It's our little pedestal above the clouds. We can overlook the Ewok village. Just over here on this side, that other side of the creek, with all the lights all dimmed and the campfires. Looks like a scene out of uh, Return of the Jedi. And the Ewok village on Endor. Bye-bye, campsite. Bye-bye, river. Bye-bye, our campsite. Bye-bye, river, where we played for days. Didn't catch any crawfish but three. A whole bunch of fishies. Oh, no, it's raining. Ah, just kidding. I'm Dustin. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, look at that. The battery's dying. Okay. Yeah, go left. They got plenty of video coming in. Obviously, you are driving in car. Yeah. And there's the Wagner store we're going to right now. Where we're going to fat kit it on the last day. And we're going to get ourselves a root beer float with thrifty brand vanilla ice cream. That's right, the good stuff. And A&W root beer. And we're going to talk about it and ask them about a group site for next year to do a big group event. And we're going to be on our way home. Well, we're going to be on our way to Fresno to see a friend. And then we're going to be on our way home. Have a good one. Yeah, okay, you better be. Leaving Wagner's. Um... Currently, as of this year, uh, it is $20 per day per car. It is $20 per day per car. Um, for RVs, $35, day, uh, 35 a day. Uh, you call in January uh, for re making reservations. The 2018 season starts Memorial Day weekend. And then a couple weeks later, the lake will open. They do a winter shutdown on the lake, like I said earlier. Uh, for the migratory pattern of the uh, deer. Um, there might be some road construction next year happening, hopefully towards the end of this year. Um, there's still some spaces open, but you'd want to do it now. Uh, their, their season closes uh, about November, so you'd have to call and get a reservation to make sure. It's a beautiful place. It was great. A little dusty. There are some must-haves that you need to bring. One, cleansing cloths uh, of any type. You know, baby wipes. Uh, ones you can find at Walmart. Uh, some Bass Pro Shop camping wipes. Uh, if you're going to bring stuff uh, soap-wise, bring environmentally safe uh, soap. Uh, there's stuff called like River Wash. Um, there's other stuff out there. Camp campsites, stuff like that. You can find it like REI, uh, Bass Pro Shop, stuff like that. Places that are camping stores. Uh, look at their camping sections uh, with all their cook gear and stuff like that. Uh, depending what time of the season you come, you, you definitely want to bring some cool weather uh, clothing. Uh, at least a minimum of a sweatshirt, sweat jacket uh, for like right now, like when we just came up, because it gets cold at night. Oh, yeah. um, it's, it's nice. <clears throat> There's a warm breeze that comes through in the afternoon and stuff. The water's chilly, but yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the hacking. A lot of dust. There, it is a dusty area because uh, it is a creekside basin, you know, valley. 
so you get a lot of river, you know, the dust from the creek, you know, in the area. You know, there's not a lot of pine needles and stuff like that on the on the forest floor. Or there is a lot of dust on the road beds, and the campsites are in those areas. You'll want to bring a whisk broom for your tent, so that way you can dust it out, um, sweep out the dirt and stuff like that, because you're near a creek, you're near water, running water. So you're gonna get mud and sand and stuff like that all over the place. So every now and then you need to dust it out. Recommended, shake out your tent every couple of days if you're gonna be here long. That way you can get the dust out of the, your bedding and stuff from the day. Before going to bed, um, or before going in your tent, take the baby wipes, dust your legs down, your feet down, your shoes down. Uh, ooh. Or take your shoes off. Or take your shoes off before going in. But still, you're gonna you're still gonna have dust on your legs and feet anyway. Um, you can bring if you don't mind washing with creek water. You can bring a collapsible jug uh, so that way you save on space. Fill that you know with the creek water, and then you got some wash water for your hands and face and stuff like that. It's not nasty. It doesn't taste or, or doesn't smell fishy. You know, so it's really cool. It's good. Um, the other thing you need to bring bug spray sportsman edition bugs can get a little irritating at night <clears throat> you know so bring your bug spray bring your camp coils the bug coils uh, yeah the camp candles they kind of work but the, the mosquito coils the green ones they work really well out here basically bug repellent incense yeah bug repellent incense um, seen a lot of people out here with the tiki, citronella tiki torches um, definitely bring a light source water shoes for the water um, sturdy shoes for hiking if you're gonna do any hiking at all a day a day pack and that's just so if you decide to go down to the lower water holes or something like that or you want to go hiking a French trail um, you have a day pack you can bring you know a bottle of water with you stuff like that that you can take while you're down there and if you go down to the water hole the swimming hole you're going to want a day pack anyhow because if you're going to spend the day down there you need your sunscreen you need your bug spray you need uh, your water shoes uh, a, cha a dry change of clothes to put over your bathing suit a towel uh, maybe some food or snacks some water when you're down there because you're not at your campsite for this uh, it's about about a quarter mile of a trek on the trail Get down to the water holes. Toilet paper. At least a roll or two, depending on how long you're going to be here. Depending how often you you go. Uh, so uh, bring accordingly, because as we all know, toilet paper is camp gold. It is worth more than green cash. Uh, like I said, bugs, uh, sunscreen. Several types. We have. A, a spray in an orange bottle it's like uh, SPF 30 it's for the scalp uh, it's from uh, banana boat uh, we got one from no ad that's a, uh, an SPF 60 or 50 and that uh, is a cream you know, say you get your your your, your high ridges on your face and your nose and your ears um, your shoulders and stuff like that remember reapply it reapply it if you're playing in the water about every hour or so because most of the, yeah, the, the banana butt spray lasts about 80 minutes um, other than that you need to bring your own water um, I suggest at least uh, if you're gonna be here for a few days five gallons you know five gallons of water for at least two people if you're gonna be here for like three days um, unless you drink a lot of water you can you can use the river water to clean your dishes with um, just go down take a pan or whatever the collapsible bag like I said so this was a very good weekend I enjoyed it the trip the trip up the drive up as you see is crazy you you are very very remote and you are in the dead center of California. And we are in the dead center, Central California. 
um, up here in the Sierra. And it is the Sierra. We're just on the western side. So, but it's going to be a little bumpy here. We're going to go ahead and, you know, you've seen the scenery coming up. Maybe I'll do a little going down, who knows. But, uh, or this will probably be it. But uh, we'll talk to you later. Keep, uh, keep up on that 30 day no drinking soda or the energy drinks. Hope you haven't fallen off the wagon. If you did, get back on it. Add another day to your 30 day. Um, if you haven't, get out there, do your 10 minute walk for the weekly challenge. Um, I should have another weekly challenge coming out soon. Um, maybe I'll do a, you know, a quick uh, 10 minute walk video from, of myself. Even, even though I did them out here, you know, I did a lot of walking out here this weekend for this trip. You know, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a quick 10 minute walk in live just so you can see how far you can actually go or whatever. And um, a little helpful tint, 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 ha, ah, a little helpful hint. If you don't have it already, go ahead and get yourself a Fitbit. You can get them cheap for like 49 bucks or you can get them as expensive as 250 bucks. But uh, I got the Flex 2. It's waterproof. You can go swimming with it. You can go in the shower with it. You don't have to worry about it. It charges. Uh, you have to charge it about every five days. Um, depending on how much how much you, you use, how much you walk. Um, probably really fish eye because I'm so close on the 170 angle. Um, but get you know get a Fitbit. I got I got this one, the Flex 2. Like I said, it's waterproof. It was I, if I remember, it was like 179 bucks. Well worth it. Um, comes with a charger. Uh, you can you can track it on your phone on a phone app. Uh, there's also I think it comes with a little dongle that you connect to your computer with, uh, and you can do the laptop that uh, or, or computer uh, uh, page that way. And it, it gets you a little more. You know, oh man, I only did like you know 5,000 steps today. I'll do 5,010 tomorrow, you know, that kind of thing. So it, it, get, it gets you a little um, self-aware of how much you're doing. And you start challenging and competing with yourself so and others, too. You can get on there and compete with friends, you know, whoever, whoever else has a Fitbit, if you don't have it already, that is, uh, if you don't know. But keep up, keep up the good work, fill that capacity, get what you need done, become that beast for what you need to get done. And we'll see you next time. Baby.